Hi, Hi. Hey. So I will uh, chat more. Um, we can see some of his work in uh, the booth of the gallery Echo 119 from Paris. Uh, Echo 119 uh, do a show, uh, a duo show of your works uh, with Leo, Leo Bern. You are uh, living and working in New York and uh, we are really happy to talk to you. My first question is, uh, how are you, especially in those really weird times? Um, well, to be honest with you, I mean, it's kind of been nice being, um, sorry, it's so weird to look at this. You don't know where to look. Um, being uh, not nice, but the quarantine is interesting because, you know, even all of New York shut down. But my day to day, like, didn't change that much, aside from, like, actually making photos. But a lot of my work is based in, like, archiving and making books and stuff like that. So, you know, for me, it kind of worked the opposite than it did for a lot of people because a lot of like deadlines got pushed back so it gave me more room to just like work on stuff without so much pressure um that being said you know you miss seeing people because like a lot of my work is based around you know photographs of my friends and stuff and um yeah it's weird to because now it's like things are opening up a little bit it's weird to go outside and like see someone because you just want to talk because you haven't talked in like you know in uh in months but um yeah it's also just very strange to see new york completely empty you know after like 9 p.m there'd be no one on the streets um how is it there you're in paris uh actually i'm not really in paris but uh in uh, the countryside it's much better but uh, i know that in paris it's <laughs> the energy is going back and uh, people go on restaurants uh, and oh. the life is turning as as normal. I love that everyone in all my French friends are like, yeah, we're in the countryside, it's fine. I'm like, oh, that must be so nice. <laughs> yeah, it's much better than in uh, big cities. Um, so as you said, uh, and as we can see it uh, in the booth, uh, your work is around the, your connection to people, especially to your friends. And we can feel all this uh, friendship. And uh, and and one um, one word come uh, in my uh, in my mind when I I see I saw your work is uh, is rest, recklessness. Uh, we can really see this um, freedom of uh, of the youth. Uh, do you agree this? Uh, I wouldn't say it's reckless, but I understand what you mean. I mean, I think it's just like a lot of uh, all the people in my photographs are just like-minded people. You know that you know, they're all artists or musicians or something like that. So, you know, we all moved to New York to be that way. You know, it takes a certain type of person, I think, to, um, you know, um, to live like that. Um, but, uh, yeah, but I don't even think it's more so youth-based. It's like, because like a lot of the people in the pictures are old now. We're well, not old, but like, you know, I, I photographed the same people over the past 10 years. So we're not necessarily young anymore. So is it the, the time, a concept that uh, you want to, uh, to dig in your, in your work also, that taking pictures of your friends uh, as young people and uh, feeling and living uh, this time? Yeah, yeah, well, that's interesting that you say that. I mean, I guess, you know, when you go into it, when you start making work, you don't really think about, like, getting older with it, you know? Uh, but now it's kind of like what's happened to that, like... Uh, you know, it used to just be going out, taking pictures, hanging out with people, but now it's transitioned into like, okay, maybe actually asking to photograph someone or putting someone in an environment and let them interact within it. So like, you know, because you kind of get tired of waiting around for the picture to happen. And then too old to go out, you know, every night and do these things. So. And do you uh, have the same uh, relationship to your camera, to your to photography? Are you using it? In the same way as uh, 10 years ago? Huh, that's a good question. Um, I think so. I feel like um, I started making pictures because it was my way of relating to the world or to like a person because it's like I was quite shy. Um, and the camera kind of gives you a pass to like, you know, go on adventures. So it's kind of like a, almost like a, like a shield or something. Um, but yeah, I think I do use it the same way but just in like a, a different context like even doing um you know photographs of my friends you know it's like after a while it's like tired of waiting for things to come along so i got really into like doing the skyscapes like the night sky stuff because i feel like it has the same energy as like 
a person, but you can do it by yourself, um, you know. Mm -hmm. And you told me about uh, your archives and that you work on your archiving and uh, and seeing things in boxes. Uh, how do you describe this part of your work? Um, I mean, archiving to me is super important in that um, I think my work is like, very based on like having a certain moment. I mean, obviously you want it to be timeless, but at the same time, it's like there's like a certain era in New York City or like, you know, traveling to France and stuff like that, where like these pictures kind of like uh, encapsulate like all of my friends and I's lives. So like I have, you know, like, right now we're scanning all this stuff, but there's just like the back catalog of like, it might not go into a show or whatever, but it's just nice to have, you know, the the archive of just like you know a picture of Audrey like from 2001 or 2010 and you know have it there for the memories you know you never know because sometimes you look back and you're like wait I should have used that picture for something you know and um, we can see in the booth that um, you play with the sizes of the prints we have very big prints and uh, small ones uh, how do you uh, work on that. How do you choose uh, which one, and uh, is that uh, extremely important for you? Yeah, I think the sizing. So that's the thing. It's also it's like I only print in like um like each print is just that size in the edition. I don't print in like multiple sizes, but it's basically just based on what do you think it should look like. Because sometimes you know something should be small and something should be big, and I think it's kind of interesting to make the more mundane things way much bigger. Um, mm -hmm. like a different life, you know? Mm -hmm. And about uh, books, it, publishing and, uh, and uh, making books, do you, do you feel the same? Uh, uh, is it the same idea of construction, of uh, making order? Yeah, I mean, books are so important to me. Um, it's kind of like the best way, I think, to get photographs out. Because like not everyone can buy a picture from the wall, you know, of the gallery, but... Um, and I try to make the books affordable, even if it's a really nice hardcover book, we like do our best to um, to make it like, uh, you know, accessible for everyone. But yeah, I really like making books because also you can put so much more into it, you know, than just a gallery mm -hmm. space or something like that. And what you like is uh, telling stories. So in a book, uh, one picture after one another, you you are it's, building a story. Yeah, you get it. It's a, yeah, that's the thing. The books, you can be uh, a lot more narrative driven. And, um, you know, maybe even include something to fill it out that you want to put in, like, a gallery or something. It's more of like a, it's kind of just like reading a book, but with your eyes, I guess, the pictures. Uh, what are you working on uh, currently? Do you have a new project? Uh... Well, I was, I've been kind of trying to figure out what's going to happen now, because I basically shows are done, as we know. That's why we're doing this. Um, I had a show with my gallery, uh, Stieglitz 19, which is in Antwerp, um, but they got pushed to maybe November because, you know, everything closed. That was supposed to be in March. Uh, so in the meantime, I think I'm going to try to do another book with uh, a publisher I work with called Pacific. They did my last book uh, with Agnes B uh, for this Tokyo show. So I've just been going through work that I've made since the last book and um, seeing what could come of that and then also uh, i've been working on a project i guess for the last 10 years i have a, one of my best friends this girl tilda has, she's probably the person i photographed the most and i wanted to do like a 10-year book of her so hopefully that'll come out later this year can we see your puppy, puppy anymore uh, another time oh. you you introduced me to your to your new yeah. dog <laughs> let me grab her. Let me grab her. yeah of course come here. Yeah, she has to be a star, I was going to ask. Amazing. So beautiful. We should have a name. So she, no, no name, so we can uh, ask people to give you uh, ideas. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I want it. Oh, thank you so much, Chad, for, for, for your time and for this uh, short talk. And yeah, hope to so meet much. you in person uh, in the future. Yeah, for sure. I, I, I hope so. Um, have a nice day. Have fun in the South. Thank you. Bye. Bye.